How's it going guys? My name is Omniac and welcome to Let's Play Outlast Part 2. Now if you saw the end of Part 1, you'll know that I did the video a lot longer than I expected. I ended up having to cut it in two. Um, so here's the second part. Let's play. Okay, he just went in there. Where do I need to go? I have no idea. Shit. Uh, um, so yeah. yeah. And a lot of it isn't, a lot of, you know, a lot of the issues with psychosis aren't even, um, oh, fuck, aren't even having to deal with, you know, hallucinations, like I was saying, it, it's, it's a lot of it is, yeah, it's, um, mixing up when information that you are getting, your brain is getting, is coming internal, coming from an internal source or external source, so, whether, oh, shit. Whether like a sound, you know, a voice you're hearing is like your inner monologue or someone speaking. Like your brain. Is he right there fucking doing that? With you know, your brain can't tell whether it's some other asshole or it's just Okay, that's just ambient light around me. Uh, whether it's somebody some other asshole or it's just you thinking in your head. Which is a huge, huge issue. Um uh, so, one thing is, you know, psychosis has to do entirely with the brain. And the brain, next to like space, just about the most confusing fucking thing in the world. Um, we have no idea how the brain works in its entirety. Um, we are we're really, really smart on it. We got a lot of information, but like, it's just so little. A great, a great neurologist, I totally forget his name, once said, uh, he said, um, if the human, if a human was able to comprehend the human brain, their brain would have to be so complex that they couldn't comprehend it. Is this guy walking back here? This is the way. Fuck. And if, oh shit, I, I fucked up the quote now that I got spooked. Um. But yeah, so it's basically, if the human brain, if a human was able to comprehend the human brain, their brain would have to be so complex that they wouldn't be able to comprehend it. And if the human brain was simple enough for a human to comprehend it, they'd be so stupid, they wouldn't be able to comprehend it. Basically, it's a big circle where we won't ever know. Um, so when it comes to psychosis, we really don't understand. Uh, but there are a bunch of theories, disproven, proven, disproven, proven. Well, when I say proven, I mean like temporarily proven. Um, uh, for example, one of them is a, an issue with processing dopamine. If I was him, I'd have heard that. Dude, I am so fucked. Uh, He's right there. Oh shit! Oh fuck! I don't know what to do. Um, so an issue with pro uh, processing, like how your brain reacts to dopamine. So generally, it overreacts um, to you know that's the, overreacting to dopamine. So, for example, the amount of the way you get like stimuli from shit. Um, a lot of times, your brain interprets through dopamine, you know, uh, receiving dopamine. Um, so, for example. If I say something nice to myself, I get a little bit of dopamine, it makes me happy. If somebody says something nice to me, I get a little bit more dopamine for whatever reason, it makes me happier. If your brain is not, you know, reacting to dopamine the right way, it doesn't react properly to either one and cannot distinguish exactly how each thing is. It's kind of weird to describe, but... Oh, he's so, so fucked. Um... I'm considering just running for it. Because I'm not playing this game. Is he coming up the steps? Is he coming up the steps? Am I going to have to run? I hope not, because I can't see. So, like, imagine, imagine your brain thinks that this level of dopamine means this, and that level of dopamine means that. But the way your brain is processing the dopamine you can't tell which level it's supposed to be. 
basically that. So, you know, that's that's the issue with internal and external. Um, and another theory is basically, yeah, essentially internal and external thoughts and experiences can't be understood uh, or uh, distinguished for the most part. So, you know, if, you know, it goes everywhere from if I get burned, my brain can't process whether I got burned or, like, somebody else got burned. Like, I, I could literally, someone who with severe psychosis could perceive some hallucination of theirs getting burned. Um, if I talk in my head, like I was saying with the whole inner monologue thing, if I talk in my head, I could perceive it as just somebody else talking to me. Um, Alright, so I'm going to finish this up real quick before I go into any more signs of this. Fuck, I don't know where he is. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to make a run for it and we'll see what happens. Shit. It's hard. Uh, go to the right, please. I'm just going to back up and see if I can see if he's going to the right or left. Alright, he's going left first, but I think you have to go left and then go right. Because I need to go left. Oh, he might be on that step thing right now. Fuck it. Let's go. I don't trust this music anymore because the music doesn't doesn't tell me. It doesn't help me. Normally you get that kind of like crazy violin going stuff when you have someone actually... Oh, please say I'll see him soon. I don't know where he is. I can't see a damn thing. Dude, I don't know where I am. Uh, I, yeah, just another ghost, right? I'm gonna be another fucking ghost from starvation because I don't know where I am. Is it just like give me a hand out right now? Alright, this is actually a little better. Dude, I don't... He is somewhere... Um, so, I think the last thing I'll talk about is the symptoms, essentially, of psychosis. And I've mentioned them, and a lot of people know them already. Okay. Uh, a lot of people know them already. I think he's nearby. A lot of people know them already, but they essentially go like this. So there's hallucinations, hallu hallucinations, delusions, uh, catatonia, which is a less, lesser known one, and thought disorders. Now, the first two are the most pre prevalent. Um, the third one sounds a little weird, but you'll know exactly what it is. Um, and thought disorders is just kind of funny. Um... <laughs> Uh, so, the first one, hallucinations. Now, oh fuck, I'm in the goddamn same. I'm 
someone help me? I don't know where I am. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I feel like a bad gamer now, because I don't know what's happening. Um, it's, it's, it, I, I'll be honest, guys, I, I am still working on this whole talk about science thing. This is, like I said, like one of the first things I'm going to actually post. Um, so, I've done one other, but it didn't work out very well, so. Oh, shit, there's something here I can, I think I can hop over. tricks. Oh, wait. No, I don't. Wait, maybe I do. What's happening? God damn that music. So, hallucinations and delusions are often uh, mixed up, but they're actually totally, totally different in a medical standpoint. Um, hallucinations are uh, perceiving something in the absence of stimuli, so like literally seeing something without anything to be seen. Um, so... Um, and also hallucinations are often mixed up with illusions, also totally different. So, like I said, hallucinations, perceiving something in the absence of stimuli, there is nothing there, there's no feeling, there's no nothing. And yet someone is perceiving their being something. Um, God damn, I'm blind as a bat. Did I miss, like, a fuckload of batteries I needed before? Um. And illusions are... Is when you misperceive stimuli. So, like... Fuck, I have no idea where I'm going. That looks like something. We're in business. Please turn lights on. No, nope, didn't turn lights on. This is a locker. I'm just gonna assume he's gonna come and try to find me. Um, so yeah, illusions are a misperception of stimuli, um, while hallucinations are perceiving something in the absence of stimuli. I think yeah, he's totally out there. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Just a ghost, whatever. Yeah. Alright, whatever that means. Um, so then there are... Uh, so like the most common feature of psychosis is audio auditory hallucinations, which is essentially hearing voices. Um, and actually, strangely enough, I found this out, uh, it's not always bad. So there are actually hundreds of, you know, thousands, whatever people, not hundreds of thousands, but thousands of people out there we hear voices, but as opposed to the standard psychosis uh, hallucinations where... Oh shit, that fucking scared the hell out of me. There's a small closet light found back there. Oh fuck. Um, as opposed to the normal... Oh, yes. Um, as opposed to the normal hallucinations, which um, in psychosis are very degrading, demanding, um, you have, you know, some people even, like, actually have hallucinations that are, actually quite, I'm just gonna pray he doesn't go this way. Go forward. Alright, uh, okay, that works too. I 
quick advantage. Um, so, yeah, some people actually have auditory hallucinations that are like uplifting and give them goals and stuff like that. And it's really weird. Like, you you always imagine forms of psychosis always being straight negative all the time. But there are people out there who do just fine. Like, they're, they're actually, it's strangely enough, if it's not uh, negative, negatively impacting, they don't even get diag they wouldn't be diagnosed with psychosis. Alright, I think I just need to be more searching for these batteries. I'm gonna rewatch this and I'm gonna find out a thousand fucking batteries I missed. Um... I don't know where this asshole is. There he is. Um, so, um, so after hallucinations, we have delusions. So basically, a delusion isn't anything visual. It isn't anything auditory. It isn't anything uh, through your senses. It's basically you believe something that isn't true. I mean, it could potentially be true, but you believe something for essentially no reason. You have absolutely no evidence to support whatever claim. You just believe it. And that's it. And you believe it with your, like, you know, to the gut. And the majority of the times, they're focused around, like, paranoia or grandeur, uh, where it's either people are out to get me, you know, someone's trying to kill me, whatever, or... God, these batteries suck. World's worst batteries, this ain't some Duro, so shit, 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 shit. Oh, yes, go, 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 go. Oh, come on, go, 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 go. Get in the fucking room. Go forward, go forward, oh, you dig back. Um. Uh, so yeah, or it's either paranoia like that or grander where, you know, you believe you're special. You know, you got your skills or even like special abilities and superpowers and shit. I thought I turned it on. I thought I turned it on. I thought I did it. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, the normally like that, uh, there is a psychiatrist named Carl Jaspers. Um, that's his name. He created, like, a classification for delusions. Um, and he basically put them in a primary and secondary category. Uh, and it's generally ordered that way based on I thought wasn't that it though shit this is a whole different scenario than I thought I thought it was like two buttons press the thing and get the fuck out of here but it's not I'm hoping this is a good hiding spot. Um, so yeah, primary and secondary. Um, so the primary being... Dude, I don't even know where I am. So primary being their incredibly sudden beliefs that you firmly believe in with like, with your, you know, you know, to, to your gut, like very intense and not like they're, they're very sudden, they're very intense and like no normal person, no normal mental process could ever reach that conclusion. And then there are other ones, the other ones are the uh, secondary ones, where instead of, you know, having absolutely no bounds for, uh, the secondary ones have to do with someone's past, right, like their childhood or some shit. Okay, I didn't go over here, I don't think. Right here. 
Um, so yeah, secondary ones generally have to do with someone's past, um, their upbringing, um, or their current situation. A lot of times it has to do with surrounding with the ethnicity, religious beliefs, customs, um, you know, psychosis with someone who's, you know, hyper religious as like a child or something like that. Like you have a lot in this game, you got that crazy religious dude. There's a good chance at some point religion was a big, big part of his life in a not very positive way. Um, so I think that's the second button. This has gone on a hell of a lot longer than I expected it to. Sorry about that. Um, I kind of got a whole bunch of stuff to say. Decided I'd say it, and I'm still getting used to being able to talk and do all this. And also playing a game effectively. I promise I'm not awful at games. Um, I'm not great. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm quite mediocre. I don't know which way it went. I'm gonna go this way. Um, but, uh, so that goes for delusions. Then there's a uh, catatonia. Alright, fuck this. Let's get the fuck out of here, boys. I think this is the right way. Shit, in the right way. Yep, I know. Sorry, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, I meant to go up the stairs, I meant to go up the stairs, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I won't ever do this again. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, dead end, dead end, dead end. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ah! Hey, there's a thing. Sweet guy can't make it through doors. I'm just gonna close that just to be sure. Um, so yeah, then there's Catatonia, and I'm gonna end it pretty soon. Um, Catatonia, uh, which uh, is basically when someone's pers uh, they're in an agitated state, but their experience with reality is impaired. And a lot of this sounds very similar. It's like, well, it's all fucking your reality's fucked up, but it's different enough. So essentially, the classic Catatonia is catatonic. Um, and it's basically like, you know, imagine when you see movies or whatever, when someone gets so stunned that they just do not react. When they just do not react to anything. I feel like this game's not gonna let me rest at all. Oh, fuck. Um, they just don't, they, they don't react to anything at all. They don't, they're just... Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, what? Ah, that's a big needle. Oh god, that's awful. I'm sorry, my son. I didn't want to have to do this to you. Well, did this shit. But you can't mm -hmm. Delusions. Not yet. There is so much yet for you to witness. Will you see it? For some reason that guy makes it. Ooh. Our lord, the wall rider, tearing his truth into the unbelievers. Oh, I'm starting to remember this more and more. Out of this place is the truth. Accept the gospel, and all doors will open before you. I'm starting to remember the the story more and more. Um. So I'll finish up with my spiel, and I'll and I'll end it here because it just it seems like a great place to stop. So essentially, the classic catatonic thing uh, is along the lines of when. You know, you ever have the idea when someone's like in a coma or something like that? Well, the catatonic, you can have a similar state where, like, you have imagine someone lying down, you put the hand above their face, and it falls down. You know, instinctively, a person is in no mental state and they're awake. They will move their hand, as good of an actor as they may be. That's like nearly impossible to fake. Um, and you'll try, and you're like, no. But like in real life, to a real believable extent, like a doctor would be like, yeah, you're fine. Um, so, but that person, they just they don't care. Nothing. You could do whatever to them. They do not react to normal life. To like normal anything going on around them. Extreme catatonic states um, are essentially the same thing except that you have excessive uh, and like purposeless motor function along with your mind is completely, completely focused on something totally irrelevant. For example, you probably you see this a lot in this game, I, if I remember right later on, where you just have people like doing shit like walking in circles, mumbling, and they're doing it with such determination you could 
they'd stab them in the eye, and they'd keep walking in circles. Like, nothing stops them. So, um, so that's it for cat catatonia. And then, last thing is thought disorders, which is just kind of weird. The main thing with a thought disorder, it's essentially uh, a lot to do with speech and writing. So, generally communication and a severe form. And so, something called, it's actually kind of funny, it's called a... This is the term they use, is word salad. Which I think is fucking hysterical. But, um... Really get all the crosses, rest in peace, blah blah blah. Um, but essentially, uh, you know, word salad. And it's basically like... You ever see Iron Man 3, where Jarvis is talking to Iron Man, and he's like... You know, at the beginning of a sentence, everything is fine then, until I get to the end of the sentence, I say the wrong cranberry. And, like, he screws up the last word. He can't say the last word. Well, imagine that, but it happens with every word. Like, your whole entire sentence is just a jumble of random-ass words. As far as the person who's saying it's mine is, they're saying it totally fine. But it's just totally incomprehensible. And, and writing is the exact same way. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to cut it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If I made any mistakes, scientifically, whatever, you know, on the on the you know the actual facts about this, please correct me if there's anything you want to add, if there's anything I could have gone more into. Um, anything more you'd like to see? Um, if you want, if I if you want me to go more in depth, I'm not sure the degree of depth you guys want me to go into. I'm also not sure on like the videos. I know I paces went out pretty bad. Um, that's still getting very used to it. Um, but any possible feedback you guys would have would be absolutely awesome. Um, but if you like this, yeah, hit the like button. If you want to see more, stick around. Um, I'm, it's gonna take a while for me to get a good amount of content out there. Um, and if you want to right now, yeah, you can subscribe. Uh, I'd wait. I know that sounds weird. But I wouldn't subscribe yet. There's like, there's nothing on my channel yet. Um, this is literally going to be like my third video. But thank you guys so much for watching and everything. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys later.